ChatGPT and other LLMs conduct query fanout techniques that splits your question into multiple subqueries so that it can pull and combine results from multiple sources to provide you with the most comprehensive answer. Now the issue is, how can you rank in these ChatGPT responses? Well, Keywords Everywhere can now reveal those specific hidden query variations. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. First, make sure you have the Keywords Everywhere browser extension installed and turned on. Now this new feature will only work if you are using the ChatGPT5 thinking model. So you will need ChatGPT Plus or Pro to access uh, the thinking model and also this new Keywords Everywhere feature. Now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, what are some popular CRM tools for real estate agents? Now as ChatGPT5 is thinking, and if it required to do an online search, we will actually now be able to see those exact fan out queries, okay? So let's give it a moment to complete. Okay, so it took ChatGPT about uh, 48 seconds and it had to do an online search. So it listed out all of these uh, real estate CRM tools and it also linked out to these various sources. Now it was able to come up with this thorough response because it conducted an online search. So on the right hand side, you see this brand new widget from Keywords Everywhere called Fan Out Queries. So ChatGPT conducted searches for these 14 queries. Okay, so it conducted a search on top producer CRM pricing, which has an average monthly search volume of 50. Now keep in mind that even for free uh, Keywords Everywhere users, you will get access to these lists of keywords here. But if you are a paying subscriber to Keywords Everywhere, then you will also get access to the average monthly search volume. And the next keyword ChatGPT searched for was I exact contact pricing, which has an average monthly search volume of 40, so on and so forth. Now, why is this important for AI SEO or GEO? Now, if you want to be one of the uh, sources here and also be listed under the citations inside ChatGPT, and if you want traffic from ChatGPT going to your website, then it's very important that you create content that not only targets the main uh, topic here, which is you know popular CRM tools for real estate agents, you should also be producing content for each one of these fan out queries as well. And you need to make sure they are ranking as high as possible so that ChatGPT has the chance to find your page, crawl it, and then you'll have the opportunity to be listed right inside the ChatGPT responses. So when you are optimizing your site for AI SEO, you should be writing content around uh, the top producer CRM pricing, iExact contact pricing, RealGeeks CRM pricing, so on and so forth. So if you are ranking for any of these keywords, ChatGPT will be able to find you and then potentially part of your content will be listed out right here, and then you'll be listed as a source. Now let's do another search, okay? So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, I'm running my first marathon in October, what shoes do you recommend? Okay, so now um, it's uh, currently thinking, and if it is required to do an online search, then we will be able to see those fan out queries. Okay, here we go. So it took about a minute and four seconds. So it searched for these nine fan out queries to come up with this thorough answer of the best marathon running shoes. So it categorized it into these uh, three sections and it listed out specific uh, marathon running shoes. And you could see all of these sources um, for each one of these products. So it was able to come up with this response because it conducted all of these keyword searches, okay? So we see here, best marathon running shoes 2025, um, that has an average monthly search volume of 70. 
We also have best marathon shoes for beginners, 2025, so on and so forth. So when you are doing AI SEO for your website, you should be writing content targeting these specific fan out queries. That way you have a chance of getting found by ChatGPT and potentially being one of the sources in this response. So now you have a better idea of how to do AI SEO or GEO so your website can be listed out as one of these sources for many queries asked inside ChatGPT. And this is how you can get traffic coming from ChatGPT to your website. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, smash that like button. Also subscribe to our channel. If you wanna check out other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you and we will see you in the next one.